you ever think you're going to get addicted to that? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it's Walter here, and you're at the Think Profit Podcast, where we're going to help you develop a rock-solid trading confidence and avoid the potentially endless cycle of system switching. Right, Hugh? That's right. We're going to help you develop a wealth mindset, develop a trading strategy that fits your core personality, and help you overcome the obstacles that stop over 90% of traders. All right, Hugh, sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, Walter, uh, what do you say to people who, I mean, you obviously don't have this problem that much anymore, but in the past, there may have been people who kind of trash talk trading and saying, oh, that doesn't work or whatever. So what would you tell them? That's funny you say that. I was actually thinking about this um, today, earlier today. I was thinking about like how um, you can tell a lot about where someone's at um, by, you know, by what they say, basically. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, like, so for example, and I was thinking about like, um, you know, sometimes you'll see like people post nasty comments on YouTube or whatever. And, and I, I like, I often think, I think like, where, like, where is this coming from? Like, yeah. you know, where do you, do you know what I mean? Like, what's it's kind that? of, it's kind yeah. of, yeah. What's behind that? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious and easy to see. I don't like to get into those kinds of fights and things, but I think it's kind of interesting that, cause it's, it's sort of the same thing. I almost feel like, um, with what you're talking about, which is a little bit different. So if you're, if you're more of a public figure, like you are in trading, like you can attract attention and detractors and things like that. Okay. And that's, that's one thing. And I think everyone can kind of, with a little bit of thinking, figure out where that's coming from. Yeah. Pretty simple, whatever, you know, if people want to spend energy on that, whatever. But what you're talking about is a little bit different, which is like people in your circle, I believe, like in your, in your life, we're basically saying, why are you doing this? This is a waste or whatever. And I'll never forget. I was, uh, when I first moved to Australia, uh, I sold everything in the U S I, I, I went to Australia and I had one friend that I knew in Australia Mm -hmm. and I convinced him to move from Melbourne to Sydney and, and basically become roommates, you know, cause I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make rent. <laughs> so, like, so, and, and his sister came out, uh, came up to visit him. Right. And, um, she was like, she saw me and I was sitting in this, uh, you know, like they're called Adir- Adirondack chairs and these chairs that are like made out of um, wood and they're from the Adirondack mountains and they're, they're really famous, but they have kind of like this, this, they're made out of wood and they have this big armrests. And they had like, kind of like arching foot rest that you can put. Anyway, I had one of these set up and I had my computer set up like in the kitchen or whatever. And um, she watched me and it was like late at night. I was watching the London session and she was like watching me at the computer. And she goes, do you ever think you're going to get addicted to that? <laughs> hey there, I hope you're finding this episode useful. I just wanted to let you know that Walter and I give away something valuable every month that helps traders improve their skills. You can enter to win by simply leaving an iTunes review and leaving a comment on our YouTube videos. At the end of each month, we'll look at the comments and reviews from the month and we'll pick a winner at random. Each comment and each review counts for one entry during the month that it's submitted. So if you're interested in that, be sure to enter after this podcast is over. All right, back to the episode. And I was like, and I got really defensive, you know, I was like, oh no, I never, no, this is investment, investing and blah, 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 and all this stuff, you know, <laughs> I was like, all this, you know what I mean? And, and yeah. I, I was thinking, but she's right. You know what I mean? And that's what can happen when people kind of like try and drag you down and say, Hey, you know, like you've been doing this for four years. It's, it's not working. Why, you know, why do you keep doing this? Like, yeah. don't you want to just, you know, try something else? Like, let's go flip some houses or, or whatever, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like it's on TV, everyone's doing it, you know, or whatever. Like, yeah. I, and so I, but I don't blame those people when they say that, because I actually think a lot of it comes to, from our programming. So we've been taught that there's certain things, you know, that, that like you do this, you get a job, you, you know, you save your money, you, you, you put in an investment, a retirement account. Um, and that, you know, stocks is a sure thing, you know, that that's like wild speculation that that currency trading stuff and um so i understand that like why people say that and i don't i don't actually fault people when they when they try and detract mm-hmm. and say that the like tell you as a trader like like i don't know if you should be doing this i, I cuz i think it comes from a good place i just think that in their minds they're they're trying to um you know they're trying to help you they want to pull you out of this like that like my my roommates uh, sister who said, Hey, you know, are you, do you think you ever get addicted to that? She's, that was coming from a good place. You know what I mean? Like yeah, she yeah. wanted to help me. Um, and so, yeah, to me, that's okay. I think the, the issue though, is that it, 
it, it affects you as a trader. So if your wife thinks that you aren't going to be able to pull it off, you get that. Even if she doesn't say it, she doesn't even have to say it. Like, you yeah. know yeah. what she thinks about it. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the tricky part. And so I think sometimes what you can do is you can leverage that. You can go, well, what if um, I understand what you're thinking and I understand where you're coming from. What if I showed you what I'm doing mm. and I'm, um, you know, we can, and basically you're like your wife or whoever the person is, your significant person in your life is like the one who's concerned maybe you bring them in and show them your plan right mm -hmm. that forces a couple of things it forces you to be accountable right and to show that you're actually sticking to your system kind of like a trading accountability partner and two it forces you to come up with a plan <laughs> most, <laughs> most people don't yeah. no most people don't have either they don't have yeah. a plan and they don't have anyone to be accountable to as a trader and that's the issue and yeah. so and, and so if you can map it out, and like and when I say a plan, I don't mean like a, like a 12 month plan. I mean like a five, 10 year plan saying, okay, we're going to do this. And then when this happens, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that. And mm. you want to give, you know what I mean? And so you're kind of like, they're on your team now. And so they can cheer you on and they, and every week you can say, look, this is, you know, you know what my strategy is. You see my back testing numbers. This is what happened this week. This is why I think, you know, this is why, you know, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's more about um, empowering that person instead of what the natural instinct is to, to brush them off. Like I did with that, um, my, my friend's sister who was like, you know, you're, are, are you going to get addicted to that? I just kind of immediately got defensive. Yeah, and so, yeah. yeah, so I think you can kind of flip it and, and it's better for all parties in that way. But I don't know. I mean, that's, that's the best thing I can come up with because I know traders that have had that issue. Yeah. Um, that say, look, my wife doesn't think I'm going to, you know, like, she's got no faith in me. What do I do? And so the best thing I can think of is to, is to leverage it that way. I mean, I was really lucky because I was single when I, <laughs> when I was trying to figure out trading. So I didn't really have anyone to, you know what I mean? Like I didn't really have anyone to like, just like friends and stuff. And they were all like, I had a friend who was actually really good at it. So that, that kind of gave me hope and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's a tricky thing. I mean, have you run into that in the past? Um, no, I've been pretty lucky also. Like I haven't had to deal with that so much. And if I did, it was like online stuff. Right. So you can just kind of ignore them or whatever, but, <laughs> yeah. but I think it, it, I think it stings also a lot sometimes because there's an ounce of truth in there. Right. Like, yeah, you, this might be addictive. So, you know, you might, you, you, so you think about it and you're like, Oh, maybe I should be, shouldn't be doing this. But then, but then, yeah, I think you're right. At, at the end of the day, I came to that conclusion also, either you bring them in, or you don't talk about it around them and then just because you're hanging out with that person for a reason. So go hang out with them for another reason and just don't bring the trading into the relationship. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. It's, you know, it's funny how uh, people who are close to you feel like that, you know, they have a license to give you advice. <laughs> like it's, it's one thing to ask, right? Yeah. It, you can ask, but you can also like, you can ask and say, like, I, I know people and I, look, I'm not, you know, people that have gone and, and, and sunk a lot of money into mortgages and done things that I thought, like just looking at the charts, <laughs> just looking at the housing charts is a bad idea. But I never, like I never ever say, hey man, you know, are you sure you're not over leveraged on that? Or yeah, yeah. are you worried about like the fact that like money is free now and everyone's got a lot of money? Like, you know, <laughs> do, you, do you not think that there's like an everything bubble like going on here? So I don't, I don't say that. And if I'm asked, I will tell, but I don't want to like be that guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, same here. Yeah. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. I'm like, yeah. And then I, when I got the other end of that, I'm like, ah, okay, not so cool. So yeah, stop doing that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Walter. See ya. All information in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and is not trading or investment advice.